Well, now, let's get a little bit practical. By the way, good to see you and thank you for always coming back to watch my videos. In case you're watching me for the first time, go ahead and subscribe. Make sure that you like the video. All right. Comment on the comment section. All right. Now, here we are. Let's get a little bit practical on this video. And guys, 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 I try, I'm trying the best that I can to talk as low as possible for you to get maximas, a maximum out of my videos. All right. I've been seeing that on the comment section. Hey, you talk too fast. Okay. Now, what if you invest... Let me just put it on the board. By the way, I just love, I love writing. What if you invest 100K in a money market fund? How much will you be getting monthly? Because I told you money market fund is one of the investments that gives you interest monthly. If you invest 100K in a money market fund, how much will you be getting monthly? By the way, if I tell you how many times I get this kind of a question, people want to get practical. Joseph, tell me how much will I get? Now, today I'm going to use 100K as an example. So you can use your 10K, you can use your million, 10 million, whatever the amount of money you have. Just use the concept. Are we together? Let's get on the business. Now, here we are. First of all, obviously, is to pick a money market fund that is actually good for you, that you've done your own research, you've identified the fund manager, who is the fund manager, who was the company, what's the interest rate. And I'm going to use a very simple interest rate. Right now, as you speak in Kenya, money market funds, they're giving you an interest rate of, say, uh, let's, even, let's give it from 10% all the way even to 15%. Okay? Let's just use an average of, say, 12%. Okay, let's say a 12% or whichever the percentage they're giving you. The idea here is to get the concept. Now, let's say we pick a money market fund. Let's say the money market fund is called XYZ. <clears throat> XYZ money market fund gives you 12% per annum. Please be informed. As much as I'm trying to bring this down to the earning per month, the percentage given is always a reflective of per year, not a day. Even if you get into a money market fund website, they are telling you they are giving you 12% it's per day. It's not per day. It's per year with reflection of, uh, as of today, the percentage is 12% per year. Assuming every day reflects, I mean, assuming that every day it's like today, we're going to have a 12% per, you get what I'm saying, okay? Now, so it's 12% per annum or per year. Now, here we are. We get our 100,000, we throw it in a money market fund. Are we together? Now, once we get our money into the money market fund, first of all, one thing that you're supposed to understand, this is an investment. I have to lay this foundation before we go to the numbers. I know you're so much interested in getting the numbers. We're going to reach there. Just be a little bit patient. Okay? First of all, you have to understand one thing. If you are looking for making a lot of money from this 100K, go again. Don't go to the investment way. You go buy your your, your serious sell, your serious sell, open a baby shop, open, a, open a, a restaurant somewhere. Forget about investments. Why? Because investments, what they usually do, is they usually have what you call low risk. They have low risk. I have to repeat this. And they usually have what you call low returns. Okay? Low risk, anything that has low risk usually has low return. So be informed. We ain't going to make a crazy amount of money out of this 100k. We're like, oh my goodness, I'm going to be wealthy next week. No. Listen, it takes time to build wealth. Now, let's go back to our point. Now, here we are. We get our 100k into a money market fund. Our money market fund is called XYZ. It's giving us 12%. So how do they calculate this? And I'm going to try to use the simple mathematics as possible. Yeah, you throw it in a money market fund. First of all, my, my, my money market fund, they usually compound monthly. There is what we call the compounding monthly. So this is what happens. So if they say it is 12% per annum, are we together? This is like approximately 1% per month. Are we together? That's like 1% per annum per month. Why? Because if you take 12% divided by 12, because it's basically, uh, and here is made up of 12 months, you divide by that, so simply you are getting 1%. If they give you, say, 14%, you simply take 14% divided by 12%, probably going to get 1.02, blah, blah, blah. I'm not saying this is what you get, but you can just get the actual figure out there, all right? So assuming this is what you get out there, all right? So that's why I always tell people, be considerate how much you're making per month in terms of the percentage. If you get something that is promising you, I don't know, 3%, I don't know, 4% per month, my friend, that is very close to being scammed. So in our mathematics, you get 1% per in our per month as a return if you're getting 12% per year. Now, here we are. If you get 1% per month, in return, obviously, you have 100,000 into that money market fund. So guess what happens now? This 1% or is 100K subjected to 1%. So what is 1% 1 of 100,000? That is 1,000 shilling. That is 1,000. 
you get a thousand each and every month out of that particular money. And by the way, <clears throat> guess what? When I say 12%, I know money market funds are all the way to 13 or to 15, 16% all the way. So when I'm using this 12%, I've actually it is actually a post tax deductions are post-tax interest what does it mean all the deductions have been made i've deducted the because one thing that is supposed to understand when it comes to a money market fund okay one other thing that you're supposed to understand there are several areas where they deduct your money one they usually do what you call the management fee the management fee are we together because you know they're managing you this money and what have you one thing you don't share the interest with them they manage your cash then they get that management fee are we together and the management fee approximately is usually two percent okay and then we usually have what we call uh the tax obviously <clears throat> taxes or the taxes of the government is usually 15 percent on the interest on the or other yeah, on the interest, I'm sure. On the interest. That is where they deduct the money. Probably this will go to approximately, say, another 2% or maybe 1.85 or 1.75 around there. Are we together? So if you take this 2% plus this one, maybe it's around 3.85. Maybe they are giving you 15%. You deduct this. Probably going to be left with 11.5 or 12%. Sometimes you have a money market fund that are giving you 16, 17, even 18 and something of sort. So when I'm using my 12%, I've actually uh you know deducted all this but if you want me to calculate including this for example let's say they are giving you uh let's say the money market fund is giving you 15 percent okay 15 percent per annum are we together so we take the 15 percent divide this amount of money by what by 12 because we have 12 months and i have myself a calculator here and you can divide that as well from your end you can post the video grab yourself a calculator verify what i'm telling you so it is 15 divide that number by 12 you're gonna get yourself 1.25 you're gonna get 1.25 percent per month are you together so if you get this then of course find the percentage of this so how much will that be Okay, how much will that be if you take that amount of money and then find the 100, what is 1.25%, uh, <clears throat> what is 1.25% of 100K? How much is it? You simply take that number and calculate and then you can be able to find out how much that amount of money is. Are we together? So because uh, huh, that makes it 125, huh? And then what you do, you divide that money. So approximately, that will give you approximately how much? That's around 1,225 or something of sort. Am I right? So uh, basically, uh, what happens is that 15% of 100,000, that should be 1,500. That should be around 1,000, 15%. 15% of, 15%, what am I saying? What is 15% of 100,000? is 15,000. Are we together? That is per year. 15,000 is what you earn per year. Then take this 15,000 divided by 12. There are two ways of approaching this number. You can either get the percentage per, per month or you can decide to get the whole chunk of cash at the end of the year. This is amount of the money. Divide that by 12. That is 15,000. 15,000 divided by 12. You're going to get yourself 1250 still ending up to that amount of money which is the same as 1.25 of 100,000 is equivalent to 1250 Kenya shillings or whichever the amount of money that you use or whichever the currency that you use there the, the whole point here is the concept now this is the money that you get out of that cash that you gonna invest which is 100,000 this is per month now this money it has not yet been deducted uh, the what we call the management fee, what we call the e tax, uh, that is 15%, the tax government that you're supposed to pay. Now, for this case, then you have to deduct 15% of this amount of money. Now, this 12, uh, this is how you calculate it. Very simple. 1250, 1250 is equivalent to 100 if you want to do it in a very slow way. 1250, 1250 is equivalent to 100%. Now we want to deduct 15% out of this. So we're gonna ref, uh, we're gonna be left with what? 85%. So therefore, how much is what? How much is 1250? Or rather, how much is what? 85%. If this is equivalent to this, so it is 1250 multiplied by 85 divided by 100. How much is that? 
do that mathematics as fast as you can or if maybe if you don't have a calculator i have mine here i'm gonna do that for you now if you have ourselves 1250 you multiply that number by 85 and then that number you divide it by 100 we're gonna be left with 1062 we're gonna be left with 1062 point blah 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 whatever that's approximately what you're gonna end up with now out of this amount of money we haven't yet deducted some other management fee and what have you Pro approximately this number will remain to be around a 900 to 950 or let, let's just say a roughly a thousand shillings that's what you're gonna be left with as far as the income is concerned per month so if you invest a hundred thousand into a money market fund approximately you're gonna be getting around uh 10 uh, 1000 1000 and something there depends on how this interest is actually fluctuate because can even go to 16 to 17 can go down it's actually it's a reflective of how the capital markets or the financial markets are actually performing are we together so now with that case in regard, then what happens is that you're supposed to understand one thing because I know you already be like, oh my goodness, I invest a whole chunk of 100,000, I'm getting a thousand bob each and every month. Yeah, that sounds too small for me. But the question is this, what if you don't invest and let that money, you know, lay idle in a bank? How much will you get in that particular bank? Actually, they will deduct you some cash for virtue of them keeping that money in that particular bank because well some of the banks here in kenya they actually go ahead and uh, you know they have that i don't know management fee or whatever they think i don't know they usually i don't know whether you've ever checked your bank balance and then you realize there's something that they usually deduct probably every month so if your money lying idle there actually number two is being hit two ways one that uh, i forgot the name that there is an actual term they give uh you know that money that they deduct on top of that the inflation is eating your money so you're losing in two ways then and then again this money market fund where your money is is actually like a bank account you can withdraw your money at any given moment and that money for example right now you are there you've never invested that money has been for how long has it been there so what if maybe has been there for a whole year maybe that's like fifteen thousand or twelve thousand that you would have gotten in that period of time so how much have you made nothing and by the way on top of that you've actually lost money in respect to what you call the inflation so right now i'm so happy because the inflation in kenya is actually playing around 3.36 percent 3.36 percent where around there well of course depends on when you're watching this video making this video at around or october of 2024 well you might be watching this video at 2070 and the inflation of kenya will be around 0 0.1 be like oh my goodness was their time was at around three so anyway it is what it is so the point is when you get this amount of money to a money market fund that's approximately how much you'll go to be earning but the good thing is that this a thousand shilling you get a month so it will be 101 thousand next month if they still give you the 15 percent still this money will be subjected to that and this 15 this now it will be 101 thousand subjected to that current interest rate because of the compounding thing compounding compounding is the most interesting thing by the way by the time you're going to the third month the fourth month you ain't gonna be getting this amount of money because the previous interest that you have actually earned is still giving you the interest collectively as you move to the next level and that is the most beautiful thing probably when you're starting you're gonna see as if it's a bit less but as you actually wait and plum plow more that cash that you're getting you're gonna realize that you're getting more and more as the time goes by well that is approximately how much you make out there and uh, of course if you give it a longer period of time you're gonna make more because when it comes to investments that's like i said it takes time to build a quite of a substantive wealth and this money you can actually grab it and don't do, go do your thing whatever you want so be informed this is an investment and that is approximately how much you make well probably next time god willing i'm gonna come here and i'm gonna share information on how much you make when you invest in bills, bonds, and what have you. And we're still going to draw that up to the monthly level and see whether it is worth it. Anyway, it depends. Let me know in the comment section if it's worth investing that amount of money. Bearing in mind, you're not doing anything. You're not calling anybody. You're not doing the follow-up. You're doing nothing. It's just coming in. That's a thousand shillings. Just coming in. Just probably for your case, this amount of money is enough to pay for your electricity. Maybe. Maybe it's enough even to pay for your water. You can just imagine that. And you still have your money. Come on, that's a good deal anyway. For now, it's a good buy. And don't forget to as well. If you'd like to get my services in one way or the other. By the way, if you'd like to understand more about Money Market Fund, I have a booklet that I've written. It's only 280 Kenyan shillings. Get that of mine from the description of this specific video. Go ahead and grab it. Give me a call. Let's talk business. For now, it's a good buy. See you in the next one.